Hi guys and welcome to GSTOOP TV where we thrill you with amazing video all day long. If you're new here, please consider subscribing to this channel and hit the notification bell after you subscribe to this channel. Hi beautiful people and welcome back to this channel. In this video, we are going to be having a very long discussion. No, it's not going to be actually very long, but it's a very interesting discussion because this has been a story that has been in the news for a long time now. And finally, the husband of the woman that is involved have decided to say his side of the story. Now, when Lizzie and Jorin, popular Nigerian actress, turned entrepreneur, and a recent mother of one got married, I doubt she knew that her marriage was going to be plagued with so much drama and that she would have to explain from the very first day she announced her marriage up until now, even after she's given birth to a child. Now, her husband, Mr. Latif Lawal, who has been accused of being... How should I refer to him now? Okay, let's just go to a backstory. Let's start from there, guys. Now, Lizzie Andrean has always come out to defend herself and her husband. There was a time she was even fighting Tony Abraham, saying that Tony Abraham has been peddling rumors concerning her. And they had a very big fight. They insulted themselves on social media. And one woman, Esabod, had to actually come in between them for them to say they've resolved whatever issue they have. And one of the repeating factors in that marriage or in the problem that Lizzie Andrean has faced in her marriage is a lady called Fola. Now, Latif Lawa has children from multiple women. He is a Muslim man, and according to him, he has every right as a Muslim man to be married to more than one wife. However, some of his wives have come out to say that Latif Lawa did not let them know he was going to take another wife and that they were legally married. Because normal, according to the law, even though your religion lets you marry different women, the law only recognizes one legal wife and that is all lizzie and Jorin has been shouting saying that she is the only legal wife and that none of the women who are claiming to be his wives were legally married to him now one woman monsurat who is also referred to as Iya amuda used to be married to him and then there is a lady called fola who used to date him they have children together um, apparently Latif Lawal has now come out to explain his own side of the story, to tell us how Fola came into the picture, how the second wife came into the picture, how the other wife came into the picture, how Lizzie and Jorin came into the picture, and basically to exonerate his wife. And hopefully this will dead the old drama that has been concerning Lizzie and Jorin now for a couple of months. According to him, he was married earlier to a Ramota who has a child called Ayomidi. And some other children for him but that the relationship was toxic and so based on advice from different people and both of them coming to the realization that their marriage is actually a very stupid one they decided to leave themselves he wasn't legally married to her either now afterwards he met a woman called monsurat iya amuda who gave birth to some other children for him about three or four kids for him but then they had Nikai, which is what the Muslim marriage is referred to. So he married her according to Muslim right. I'm giving you like a literal translation of everything this man said in that video. It was about an hour long. I'm trying to make this video very short so that we just get right to the bottom of everything. I want to start what is going on so that, yeah, we can have a gist and a discussion about it. Now, the setting, the video was a very edited one, was beautifully short. It was a well shot, well rehearsed video, in my opinion. Now, according to him, when he married Montura, she was a homely girl. It was lovely between them. But shortly after, he started to realize that this lady is a serial cheater. He gave three instances when he came home and met men in his home. The first time, he said he had to travel for work. But then he was gone for about six days. When he came back, he met a man in his matrimonial home with his wife. The woman begged and he was begged. He let it go. The second time he met a neighbor, he said the, late, the man used to live upstairs of their house. He came home and met the man in his boxers and his wife, his then wife, in a transparent nightgown. And he was really mad. There was nothing he could do. The woman begged, they begged, and he felt like, okay, maybe I'm the problem. So he paused. You know, so the third time that broke the camel's back for him was when he came home to meet somebody that he used to think was his wife's uncle his wife's colleague and whatnot in their house said that was really painful and humiliating for him because this is somebody that his then wife used to send him to sometimes he said this lady would tell him to go drop money for this man because they were 
contributing money together they have businesses together and he would gladly do that so seeing that he was really mad and it turned into a very big fight and while they were fighting and people were asking what happened he couldn't even say what was wrong because he was very ashamed and so after that time both of them decided to leave but he said he, he wanted to leave the woman said no you're not leaving she went to call the police the police came to arrest him and he said okay see i would leave her but let me take my things from this house. And the woman said, no, you're not going to leave all this place with any of your things. You're going to just leave with your clothes. Because anything that you've bought into the, in this house is now mine and for my children. So the rented apartment. So he just left it to his clothes and then went to squat with his friend. But then he said, Fola came into the picture. That is two wives already with multiple kids. Honestly, at this point, I've lost track of the number of kids he says he had. Fola came at the point when the marriage with Monturat was very rocky. And that when he met fola fola um said she was a single mother she was a single woman and he was planning to marry her but then his friends and people were like see do research on this girl she's not without child he has two children for a former husband who is now deceased so he went to her pushed her and then she finally revealed that yes indeed she used to be married and she has two kids and you should have let me choose that make that choice myself but if you're like then the lady started saying different stories apologizing and okay mr latif is like one of the most forgiven man i've ever heard of <laughs> i've heard say story because we forgive this woman for lying and trying to string him along and you know marry him under false pretenses basically that because that's what would have been if he had married and not knowing she had children but i decided to still go ahead with dating her so they used to sleep together and whatnot but he passed on the marriage plans then it got to a point when he would go to see her and she would not be at home he would have to wait outside for days blah 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 so he ghosted and stopped talking to her fast forward to a few weeks she came to his house pregnant saying that he is responsible and he was like okay this cannot be mine but because well he says he loves children and he believes that every child needs to be taken care of he rented an apartment for this lady put her there and said okay you will give birth to this child and afterwards we would go for a dna test to confirm that this child is man because you really cannot deny since he slept with her and the lady said okay no problem that he would go there while she was pregnant though and wouldn't meet her at home she would it was really 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 rocky between them and after she gave birth to the child she refused him dna but because he's a peaceful man guy at this point i was just like okay he said because he's a very peaceful man he decided to just let it go and he was paying her bills according to him fola is a very lazy woman he gave the address of where fola lived or fola used to live blah 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 saying to go ask the landlord because he never at a point legally married this woman she just bought a child for him and he's just been paying her bills because she's a very lazy woman who would rather sit down relax and be taken care of than work and all she does is party that sometimes he will give her money for the kids school because he was actually taking care of her other kids the two children she bought for her now the sister's man in fact at the point he tried to shame her to say go and ask her what killed her husband i was just like that's a very low blue man don't just don't do that don't go there right but in a bit to say that the woman is a very bad person said she did she's a very lazy person she does not work she does not do this she does not do that and he's been taking care of the bills and paying the school fees but sometimes we give her money to pay for these children's school fees and they will still send the kids out of school and she would insist that they didn't give her the money and so he stopped giving her cash and started transferring to her so at least he was going to have evidences to push that i gave you money which are the evidences that he's putting out to say yes I've been paying for your bills. I've been taking care of your children. You can't say I'm not doing my rights and you can't say I'm married to you. Now, where Monturat's situation is coming up, apparently Monturat and Fola are now friends who have ganged up to say, yes, Lizzie and Jory took their husband. Now, I'm wondering what exactly does Lizzie and Jory have or what exactly is happening that these women would want to have this man to themselves? Now, he played audio recordings to say that it's a lie. These women were fully aware that they wanted to marry Lizzie and Jorin because they used to be friends. In fact, it said that when Monsurat, that is Iyamuda, was having, was celebrating, or well, there was a naming ceremony of one of their children, Ramota, Ramon, rather, a son, that Lizzie and Jorin was present. That is to say that Lizzie and Jorin has been in his life for the very for the longest time, just like Lizzie and Jorin's story has been consistently saying. Lizzie and Jorin has said that she's known this man for a long time, for for plenty donkey years but they just did not marry themselves 
and that is what he's saying that these people have been friends they've been family friends for the longest time Monsurat was aware that this Iyamuda was aware and also that since himself and this Monsurat Iyamuda woman has left themselves she's remarried so she's in someone else's house currently she's a wife to someone else and he's still trying to insist that she is married to Mr. Lawal and he's saying what is happening here guys so that is like the crux of the matter Mr. Lawal is saying that he has no legal ties to these women the only thing joining him with these women are his children who he takes care of he also said that Monsurat took the children she bought for him to Omwaron Kwara State where her mother resides that he just went to their house one day because he used to go see his children time to time and then he realized they were no home and then Ayomide who is the daughter of his first wife told him because Ayomide used to live with Monsurat told him that she's taking the kids away and he's not seeing his kids and she's not picking his she's not picking his calls but then she's granting interviews with Fola to say that Lizzie and Jorin are taking their man so he's calling on Nigerians to please come to his aid <laughs> and help him talk about this now I have a few things to say because first of what is it with the with the thing that he wore on his and the, the metal that was on his wrist and the editing that was constantly showing family pictures of himself and Lizzie and Jerry. I'm like, come on, we know you're married. You don't need to put that. <laughs> I mean it just makes the whole thing feel a little bit staged. I mean, like, okay. But then I, I kind of understand his points though, saying that he's not married, even if well, according to him, he's a Muslim, so if he wants to take another wife, he could take another wife. And he played audio recordings of Lizzie and Jory speaking with Montserrat, both of them having a good time. And for even for La herself, acknowledge Lizzie and Jory. So it's like, why the eight now? What exactly is happening? Do you want to take my life? You are a married woman yourself. Leave me alone. If, it's, if they were fighting just for last for Hala. Meanwhile, for La even has another child for this man, no. See, this man, eh, he said that first was asking for DNA because wasn't sure the first child was his. Yet, you still sleep with, you slept with this woman another time such that she even got pregnant. And now said it was the second pregnancy that he refused and said, no, this child cannot be mine. Right? This child cannot be mine because one of his children confirmed to him that one of his friends was sleeping with Fola that she he used to come sleep over in the house he rented for this woman and so he said that the child is not his and that was what, that was what actually made them go separate ways but he still pays pays abuse but then he decided that nah i can never ever have a future with you except for the children that we have or the child that i want to believe is mine even though you've refused me a dna test but that is what is going on between himself and Fola, and that is the matter. So, Mr. Latif Lawal has come to explain his own side of the story. What do you guys think of this debacle and everything that is happening with Lizzie and Jorin? She's a mother already. She has a child for this man. Latif Lawal is in his, is in her house. They're having a good time as a family, as a couple together. I don't see, I don't understand why both of them want to just be right in the faces of the people. We don't need this. Just live your family life. Like literally, if you have those family problems, you don't need to, we don't need to see it on the internet. But then if you don't sit on the internet, there won't be a lot of things for us to say. So yes, please bring in, keep bringing your matches today. <laughs> so yeah, we love to see it here. We love to see it over here. <laughs> guys, what do you guys think? I would love to hear from you in the comment section. Subscribe to this channel if you're yet to do that. And also turn on the bell button so you will not miss uploads from us. Aside from that, like this video. If you enjoy it, share it to family, friends, foes. Share with everybody that is shareable with. Link, WhatsApp every other social media platform i would love to see you share it and bring people to this channel so that they will enjoy of the goodness that will bring to you from our end i'll see you in the next video guys until such time take care of yourself and keep being peaceful bye